What is up, YouTube? I have a new series for you guys today, and um, in the series, I'm going to teach you how to make multiple background effects so your background can look pretty. Uh, this sounds really gay, but whatever. I'm going to show you how to show do a f show. I'm going to show you how to do effects such as this, like the broken text effect, and uh, mul multiple other effects. Now, if you're going to want to follow this series, you're going to need two softwares. You're going to need Photoshop, any version, I don't care. And you're going to need Cinema 40. Generally, 11.5 and 12, because those are the best ones. And, um, yeah. So, if you don't have Cinema 40, I recommend you buying it. It's really, really neat software. And, uh, there's always other ways of getting it, but I'm not going to get into greater detail with that. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep it at that. So today I'm going to show you how to do a background effect like this. Now you see I got a 3D graffiti image and uh, it's really just rainbow. It's a, my rainbow 3D effect, text effect. And I uh, also added a couple little circles everywhere. I'm going to show you how to do everything in this, in this wallpaper you see. So um, let's just open up Cinema 40. And uh, once you have Cinema 40, you're going to need a plugin. Yes, a plugin or a preset, whatever you want to call it. And this is a preset called uh, Grayscale Gorilla uh, Light Kit Pro. And once you get that, uh, it's $65, I believe it is. Uh, link will be in the description to buy it. But as well, um, like I said, uh, there's other ways of getting it. But I'm not going to get into detail, like always. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, so yeah, once you have uh, Light Kit Pro installed, Cinema 40 installed, all that good stuff, you want to go to Window, Content Browser, or Shift F8. Then you want to go to Presets, Grayscale Gorilla, Studios, or you can just click on Top, and make sure you click on Rainbow Studio. Double click on it, and you can minimize this now. Let's wait for it to load up. Okay, so once you have that, you can delete the abstract rings right away and the replace me, but oh, before we do that, before you delete those two, um, this might mess up a bit because, I don't know, this software, uh, the light scale, or not light scale, uh, the light kit pro might tweak out. So what you want to do is you want to go to file, save as, make sure it's the name, Rainbow Studio. Just click save. Once you do that, you can delete the two things on top. And we'll add a text effect by going to Melgraph, Text Object, and putting your text. Now you can change the font by clicking on Font. I will go down and click on Bebas. Just space this out a bit. Whoop. Change the depth to 80. That, what depth is, is uh, making it thicker. <clears throat> making it thicker. Now, with the move tool, which is this one, I'm going to move it up to on top of these lines because those lines are actually the color, the color shine. So I'm going to add that, go back to the move tool, and uh, all you do now is just realign it, but make sure it doesn't show any of this. Make sure it's just straight up background. I hate doing this. Uh, so, as you see right here, this is the orange, this is the blue, so I want to get more of a blend effect. So I'll put it around this area right here. Now realign it the way you want. Uh, I would want it to be something like that, I guess. There. Okay, so once you do that, you want to go into Render. Render settings, output, or it says or it has a little drop arrow or not drop arrow, side arrow. You want to go to film and video, HDV, HDTV 720, 29 by 97. Click on that, then go to save, and click on the three dots and name it whatever you want, and click to enter. You can turn on the alpha channel if you want. Change the format to PNG because that's the highest quality. 
and then what you do is you want to click right here and this is will render it uh, so this will take a while you might get a texture error it doesn't really matter just click OK and it will do everything it needs to do now I'm going to show you just the little first half of it uh, it's going pretty fast this time I'm not even going to lie to you okay color color Now you could do yours far away, you could do yours close up. I did mine a bit far away because, I don't know, I felt it was necessary. So it's almost done. Uh, I will come back to you when it's actually done. Okay, so it's done, so I'm just going to exit that out. Minimize Cinema 40, and we got our image right here. Yes, it might look a little weird, but we're going to adjust it with Photoshop. So I'm just going to open Photoshop up. Which I should have done before the video, but uh, what are you going to do about it? Ow, that cracked my elbow. So what you want to do is you're going to want to drag the image to Photoshop. Now we're going to do multiple things to this image. Um, one of the first things we're going to do is get the text. We're going to make them individual layers because that's uh so we could do stuff to the background that we can't do to the uh, that we don't want to do to the text so you can either go to magic wand and select it you can do that uh, and set on a different tolerance or you could just do the simple way and zoom in and when you zoom in There you go. Go to the pen tool. You want to go around the text. Try to make it as clean as possible. By clean, I mean getting the whole image. Okay. Or you could just do the lasso tool, but this is more accurate than the lasso tool. Okay. And then here. Now the Z is generally easier, uh, depending on your font. Oh my god, I hate it when that happens. The Z is a bit easier because it's just straightforward and boxed out for you. So I'm not going to be talking through all these, I'm going to cut the video shorter. So I'm going to move it up a bit, there you go. I, and I'm, I apologize if I do tend to space out when I uh, do this. I really do get into it. So once you do that, and it's all linked, you want to right click, make section, selection, I'm sorry. Click OK. That's going to do that. Now you want to go to the magic wand tool. I don't know why, but it really does work. Click, Right click on it, and go to cut. Now you might get white outline. But we'll show. I'll show you how to fix that. Um, but with the pen tool, make sure you go all of it. Now, right now, I'm just showing you the easier ones. Uh, but I'll show you this harder one, which is the R. You're gonna have to do multiple things. Uh, with the pen tool, you're gonna have to bend a lot, which I'll show you how to bend to get to the loop. Okay. But if you already know how to do this, uh, you could just skip on to. You could just skip on the video. Uh, I'm sorry that these tutorials drag. Okay, so once you, you want to get the little lump or the little curve effect, you want to go to the end of the curve, which uh, is right here, and you want to bend upward. And when you bend upward, it gets the image. You just uh, then click right there, and you see it has a little nice little bend right here. So I'll click up here and bend it. Oh crap. Go up to here and that's yeah, good. Click there. Now you see I didn't make it as clean as possible. So just 
do this. Whatever. Uh, I'll retouch it right now. Um, I'll get back to you when I'm all done. And so, yeah. Okay, so I am done. Uh, it took me a couple minutes to do it. <clears throat> um, but I generally got the other layers. Uh, so I'm going to zoom out. Turn on the screen. Press the letter V for the move tool. So basically, I got the Z. I got the E. I got the R. The O. G. The F. And the X. Now I'm just going to merge each layer or each word individually. So I'm going to merge that. So I'm going to write zero. This one I'm going to name it GFX. Oops. Okay, so there we go. I got GFX zero over here. Now let's first off, uh, we're going to mess with the background. Now we're going to do that little bubbly effect, the bokeh effect. That's what it's called. Now, um, to do that, what you need to do is go to your brush tool. If you have presetted brushes like I do, like I got splatters and everything, now you're going to want to go to this little arrow right here, go to Reset Brushes, and click OK, and you're going to have Default Brushes. So I want the softness to be at around 80. Let's size it up to about 100. We'll raise it to 170. Now, what you want to go to, you're going to want to go to Windows, Brush. Wow, I think I just lisped. <laughs> so, once you go to Brush, you want to go to Shape Dynamics and you want to click on Shape Dynamics, Scatter, and Transfer. Okay. So, in Shape Dynamics, you want the size jitter to be 50. The medium or minimum di di ah, can't talk right now minimum diameter to be 50 as well scatter you can put as much as you want I'll put it at a 1 I'll leave this at a 1000 <laughs> funny uh, where it says transfer opacity jitter is 50% and this should be 50% as well the flow jitter and the opacity jitter should be at 100%. Control is off. And once you do that, you click OK. You want to go down here and create a new layer and make it a, make sure it's on top of background. And make sure the color is white. Now you want to do a quick thing across until you get a really nice one. Okay, uh, that will work. Let me just... Now... More any more there okay so once you do that just add a couple there ruin the other one all right whatever um once you've got that layer clicked on you want to go to normal click on overlay so now it should be blended in a bit now you want to go to filter uh blur and then gauge and blur. Now you want to make this gauge and blur up to a lower see so up to the point where you can see the bubble but it's a bit more difficult. So I'll say a good nine point one. Now you want to make another layer and do the same thing. Go to brushes. Make sure um when you do that it's already saved, so you don't have to worry. We're just gonna lower the brush size to a good eighty two. And we're gonna fill in what we missed from the first time. I try not to make them all scattered or all together. We're trying to make them scattered, but don't make them all together. Uh, okay. Once you do that, you want to go to normal overlay. And then back to filter, blur, gauge and blur. We're going to make that up to a 3. And we'll just lower the opacity on the first one. It's 
so 46 I guess. Um, this one to 69. Alright, so you got that. It looks really nice. You're almost done. Now let's just get these two. Make a drop shadow. Make it 120. No, you know what? No drop shadow. We'll put an outer glow. Make it normal. Capacity 100. The color will be black. The size will be very small. We don't want a very humongous size. Uh, ew, no. You can put that if you want, but you could just leave it as original because original it always looks cleaner. And yeah, there's your effect there. Uh, I hope you liked this tutorial. I know it was really, really long tutorial, but uh, I apologize for that. But this is the tutorial on how to make a 3D rainbow text effect. Uh, I hope you guys liked uh, these series I'm gonna start doing. Um, if you like these, if you like to see more, please give it a thumbs up or a like, because I will be creating more of these if you keep liking them. So that'll be all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.